Family and friends of Nyasha Williams Thomas gathered in Wasaka this evening for a vigil in her memory. The 17-year-old was shot and killed on Wednesday night outside her mother's apartment complex. Eyewitness News reporter Rob Nesbitt spoke with those who knew her at the vigil tonight. He joins us now from Woonsocket with more. Rob? All of the people I spoke to at the vigil described Nyasia as a young girl who always had a smile on her face. All of them shocked by the tragic way her life ended. Those mourning the loss of Nyasia Williams Thomas gathered with pictures and to light candles. Oh, my heart just broke. For the 17 year old girl who they'll never forget. She always had a smile on her face, always, always bubbly, smiley. Um, you know, she was just a very vibrant, um, lively young person. Thomas Gray spent time with Nyasia while she was in the children's choir at St. James Baptist Church where the vigil was held. He was with her parents at Landmark Medical Center when their daughter was pronounced dead. They were very sad. Um, of course, um, they were torn apart. Um, the initial um, feeling of losing their daughter. Keith Hill found out about the news of his friend's passing Thursday morning. I woke up to it. I got a call from a friend and I couldn't believe it. Spending his day like many people in Woonsocket did in disbelief. She didn't even get to graduate. She's only 17. Coming to the church's front steps to light a candle and say a prayer for his friend. When I walked up there, I took off my cross. I gave it to her out of respect of my family and out of me for thanking her for what she's done for me in my life. Woonsocket police say that they don't believe Nyasia's death was a random act of violence. They say that someone else in the car with her at the time of the shooting was targeted and that this may be a case of mistaken identity. No arrests have been made. In Woonsocket, Rob Nesbitt, Eyewitness News.